the wind should be absolutely perfect. But just in case, we're going to go ahead and knock our human odor down. But we're going to take 115 grain hollow point streak ammunition and this Resolute 300 9 millimeter CMMG rifle. Get it loaded up. We got a little walk to the creek bottom down there. We got a blind set up. We're going to stay put till dark and see if a pig comes in. Boy, there's some nice setup here. I got a set of shooting sticks just to make sure that there are no errors. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. Rock solid. One thing I want to tell you is if you're going to ever hunt hogs, wind can be your friend or foe. And one way that I check wind is with a lighter. I'll just wind up getting up here. I want to show you this. The wind is perfect. It's barely coming this way. That's all we need. If a hog smells you, if a hog smells you, he's going to haul butt and get out of here. So with the wind coming this way, we knocked our scent down before we got in here. Conditions are perfect. Now we need to get set up, get quiet, and wait till they show up. Well, even though it's still daylight out there, the thermal will pick up anything back in that thick woods. It's coming in. Hopefully a pig will be. Oh, there we go. It's a deer. All those birds, you can see them with the thermal so easily. Oh, we got some raccoons coming in. All right, we're fixing to change plans. There's the third one right there. Let them all get to the feeder. Two are lined up so pretty right now. No, it's just one. Okay. They're looking at us. point works what do you think and that's pretty cool right there all right well uh, plans changed obviously went from uh, plan a going for a hog to plan b going for something else that came in that needed to be shot you know uh, boy i hear the coyotes over there right now Whew, i wish a coyote would have come in but uh no we were waiting for a hog the wind was perfect hogs didn't show up but uh, the raccoons did we wound up got some really nice footage on the thermal units and then uh, I, I put the little carbine. Now this is a nine millimeter. It's a, made by CMMG. It's the Resolute 300 series. It's got uh, it's got little rip stock on it. Now of course I've got the Pulsar Trail rifle scope on it, and you could see very very well through the scope. You could see the coons. And what happened was I waited and waited and waited, and I I, I waited till they lined up, and then boom, boom, boom. Okay, and uh, the very first shot, what I'm trying to do on the very first shot, just like I do on hogs, I'm trying to line them up because with this nine millimeter streak ammunition, especially the hollow point on an animal the size of a raccoon, you're gonna get a pass through, period. So you might as well wait if you've got time to line them up, get the pass through, and to put them down first and then go for the next one. That's exactly what we did. Plan A didn't work, but plan B did. But now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take these coons, we're gonna clean them up, skin them out. The hides are perfect, it's winter time. They're absolutely beautiful and coon meat is delicious. So make sure you check out the channel. But right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the coons, get them cleaned up. And now we're gonna go do a spot and stalk hog hunt with our little nine millimeter carbine. Howdy everybody, we're heading to one of my favorite places on earth right now to go hog hunting. Ground zero for the best hog hunting in the country. Heading to Hog Wild Adventures. This is only 15 minutes away from the Houston Intercontinental Airport. You know, there's lots of places to go hog hunting. And uh, this place has got a bunch of hogs, don't get me wrong. But the best thing about this place to me is the guy who runs it, Billy Reeves. I came out here years ago and I didn't know Billy from Adam. And now he's like a brother. He's a good, good guy. Well... I know, I'm late, imagine that. The Houston traffic is awful. How you doing? You doing all right, man? I'm doing good, it's good I to see you. You're doing pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you be quiet. You, you just old skinny man there. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, boy, I tell you, I'm glad too, man. I've been working like a dog. Okay, so what we gotta do, we brought Hoss out here, and we got, uh, we, I know you got a bunch of pigs, we saw some coming in, so. 
we got plans for tonight. You got a place back there? Got you set up. Okay, so we're gonna get suited up here and then head on back and we're gonna show y'all what Hog Wild Adventures looks like in the dark. All right, hogs, here we come. All right, so the other night, we wound up, we took the big brother to this particular carbine rifle that I'm shooting and we brained a hog and that was with a 45 CMMG Resolute 300 rifle. Now the rifle that I'm using tonight is a nine millimeter. Take a look at this ammo, 115 grain hollow points. This is streak ammunition. What we're doing here, we're gonna be set up here. We're in the pig woods over in East Texas and there's a lot of hogs in this area. It's just hopefully we can get one to come within about 30 to 40 yards and put one in the brain. So we're gonna get all quiet, grab our, uh, thermal monocular and start scanning and see if we can pick something up. There we go. What is that out there? It's a hog. It's a bunch of them. I think it's a mom and babies. They're just too far out. I don't think they're coming this way. I can't take that shot. They're just too far. These doggone cows would get out of here. Maybe something would come in. It's a coyote. Doggone it. Cool. All right, let me get the gun up on him. Let me see if I can stop him. Come on, bud, stop. Oh, he's circling downwind. Uh oh, uh oh. I'm gonna take a shot if he stops. Down he goes, baby. Down he goes. In and out. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? That is pretty doggone cool. Big doggone, look at that. Look at that. He hit the deck right there. That is fine. That is fine. Okay, I'll tell you what we've been doing here. We had a bunch of cattle come in, and the, uh, the cows wound up. I don't know, I spooked them off, and then they came back, and and we're sitting there looking and looking and all of a sudden, there's a coyote. And it's like, holy smokes, I picked up a little carbine and put it out there. I held right on him, shot him, and that streak ammo smoked him. He spun around and he's lying right down over there. So I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna go on a little spot and stalk out here and see if I can get close enough to a hog to show you what the streak ammo does when it hits a hog in the brain. Looks like it's gonna try to rain on us. Boy, it's plenty bright out here tonight. There's some pigs right there. There's two of them moving through the woods right there. Let's go ahead and get set up. The back one I can tell is a boar for sure. Nice. Yeah, okay, here we go. Got him. Boom. What do you think about that? That's some kind of awesome right there. Yeah. All right, we got them gathered up and just take a look at these guys. I am extremely impressed with what this little nine millimeter did. A nine millimeter is basically a handgun round. And I mean, to put it in a little carbine like this, I mean, and, and especially uh, that load, I mean, it's 115 grain streak hollow point. And you could actually see the ammunition flying. That's the cool thing about that too. Uh, we're gonna have a link to everybody who helped make this video possible on the bottom in the description of this video, whether it's Pulsar or CMMG or, uh, silencer shop uh you know we're gonna have a link to everybody and of course streak ammunition as well and if y'all have got any questions or comments just go ahead and post them below and we'll get back with you and if you want to contact billy reeves to come out here now this place is called hog wild adventures i've been coming here forever and it's ground zero for the best hog hunting in the country contact my friend billy reeves and i promise you he'll take care of you if you're not subscribed to our channel please do so i'm keith warren and i'll see you next time thanks for watching